I, I blame the Nikita Dragon. Hello my bad bitches and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing amazing. I hope you are living your best fantasy. Welcome back. Um, so today's video I'm going to be doing a try on Shein haul. Um, the video is probably going to be titled something along the lines of I spent $300 on Shein and this is what I got or I spent $300 on Shein per. So today I do have a Shein haul that I purchased. Um, it did come in this big box right here. So this is the Shein stuff that I purchased. Let me turn it around. This is all the Shein stuff that, that, that I purchased. I'm going to be showing them on here and then I'm going to try them on. Um, I just wanted to do this video for the plus size people just because I know there's so much Shein products out there that we don't know if it's true to size or not. But I'm super excited to be here. Um, I hope you guys like this video. So the first item that I got from... Or well, there's not really like an order of like which item I picked and why I picked it. But this is the first item. It is this cute like tie-dye tee with this dragon design on the front. It's super big. I hope it fits big too. And it just says feel the burn. It's just super cute. The material is not cotton at all. The material has a very stretchy almost like um spandexy feel to the clothes which I'm excited about but I normally prefer my cotton shirts um this shirt is super super cute I will try to put a price point of how much I paid for it and moving right along um something that I did notice about all the Shein items is that they do come packaged in like kind of like a ziploc baggie which I think is super cute if you are like a beach bum like me I recommend keeping these bags so that you have um little bags when you go to the beach the next item are these pants super cute one thing i noticed right away is that the material is a bit thin i don't know what the material is but i can see through it like i can see the light like obviously i'm gonna see the light but like you know what the you know what i mean um the material is a bit more thinner so if you are going to wear these pants i do recommend that you wear something dark under it um, this goes all the way down at the bottom. The material is not as stretchy as the first item. There's like barely any stretch to this. Um, it has an elastic waistband. Let me see if this is a real drawstring or if it's just there. So the drawstring is not a real drawstring. It's just at the, um, at the stomach area for decoration. I hate when brands do that because literally some of us rely on that jawstring for something to fit properly so just so you are aware this is not a real jawstring it's just decoration where they just literally um they just sew like a piece of string to the front um i love the the jawstring is it's so cute though but non-functional and the pockets does it have pockets yes it has some cute small pockets so this is super cute um, perfect for when you want to go to like, I don't know, a luau or something. There's not, bitch, there is not many places to go, so you better not be going anywhere. You better be wearing this to your living room. The next item, we have a cute little tank. Oh my god, that's so big. It shows where the boob is supposed to go in, and it's really low on me. Like, it's all, like, my boob are up here, like, they're right here, but this piping is all the way down here so I don't think this is going to be flattering so if you do get this just know that there is like a little thing here that might sit a bit lower I love the middle detailing right here like wow this is I like I like these kind of details um the material is cotton She's giving very much cotton material, and I love it. Um, yeah, that is this piece. Oh my god, I remember this one. So this is like overalls, um, but it goes down into a skirt. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to be trying the outfits on like after, and it's going to have like a separate video of what the outfit looks like here. So this is a overall 
how do you say overall skirt and it's super cute the material is velvet um everything feels sturdy i don't see any like craze on the material and then on top of that it does have a back opening which i like like in the back of the zipper right here super cute um i'm gonna i really hope this fits because i as someone who is bigger and on the plus size i do tend to like when clothes have a bit of stretch to the material but like as you can see this one doesn't really have any stretch like whatsoever so i'm just gonna hope and pray that it fits <laughs> Girl, I'm going to have so much effing bags to go to the beach with. Ah, these are cute. So, oh. So, these are, like, paper bag shorts. Um, right away, they have, like, an odor. It smells like shrimp. Um, shrimp or, like, seafood or something weird um it does come with this uh extra piece which is supposed to be the belt and i like that the paper short bags do have little buckles where you can loop the um the belt into and wow i really like the proportion of these i'm just hoping that it looks good so overall um this one it just has a funky smell so I do recommend that you guys wash them before trying it on. Um, this is this is a fast fashion brand. So I honestly, like as someone who understands, fast fashion is basically like instant stuff. So some products are going to have their flaws or some things are not going to be of quality. And I think that odor is one of them. But overall, it's super, super cute. Wow. Cute. Oh my god. This one is one that Gamma told me not to get because she had. But it's so cute. It's a cow print. Cow print has been very in trend um, with fashion. A lot of brands have been creating more cow print products. On the front of this one, it says cash to one lucky. I don't, I don't know what that means. Maybe like cash cow because of the cow print. Um, the material, it feels very velvety on the front. But then it, it has like a minimal stretch. Like, not me going like this and it fucking stretching. It has a good amount of stretch, but like, I don't know, up to you. Take it as you see it. The item is cute. There's a bit of a stretch, but like, it's not like stretch, like stretch. <laughs> so overall, this is super, super cute. I love the print. I just wish the font right here was lined by like another color so we could see it more vividly. But it looks like that. Also, let me know down below if you guys like this setup, just because I'm trying new things with my channel, obviously. But yeah. So this is a plain tank. It has a little opening right here. Super cute. I got this because I was feeling very bohemian. Like I'm going to run away to bohemia. Or not to bohemia, bitch. What the fuck? Like I was going to go on a trip to a random island. Even though I live in an island. I really like this small incision right here. Let's see if I like it on. But yes, this is what it looks like. Okay, so this next item... Um, it is a fuzzy top. So the material is giving very blanket. Getting very random rug in your house that someone just cut up to make an outfit out of. Um, I feel like once this material starts to get hot, this is all going to look matted. I really like the gray of this. This is a crop top. Um, but I, I feel like I'm not going to wear this, um... To go anywhere because it has like a matted feeling um the material is very stretchy as you can see which i like obby and then it does have matching joggers which are also super super cute the joggers let me see they have functional drawstrings which i also like because the other ones were non-functional material is very stretchy 
and it's just super cute so if you're into that like teddy the teddy jacket vibe that whole look you're gonna love this one this is like um i don't know how to call it it's a bit of a turtleneck almost but it's it's a cropped turtleneck moment with no sleeves i don't know how the hell you're gonna explain this but yeah that's the best of my explaining the neck area is what is this called i swear it's like my vocabulary just goes out the door when i'm filming it's ruched um the neckline is ruched and the material is like a ribbed mater material which i really like um i wanted to get this because i was watching sabrina the teenage witch if you guys watch that show give me a thumbs up because i fucking love that show um but yeah the material is ribbed super cute i'm just worried that the i have a thick ass neck so I'm just worried that my neck is not going to fit in here properly. But it's so cute with a pair of high-waisted jeans, period. Oh, wow. So this next item is like a crossover top where you kind of like tie the front. It looks weird when I'm holding it like this. But it, I can imagine this and it looks cute. Um, the material is very thin. It has a bit of a stretch if you are more on the thicker side. Um, so I would recommend wearing something during that. I would recommend wearing something under this just so that, um, you know, nothing slips. But overall, this is super cute. Material is lightweight. I just don't like the backing here because it's so wide. Like, see what I mean? Like, the backing is huge. But other than that, it's super cute. Oh, bitch, period. This next item has a chain detailing right here and it goes into this hook it's kind of like a, a strappy top super super cute the back is pretty basic as well the material has a good stretch to it i'm just worried about this part because products like these i think they should have used a more heavy duty chain like here but it's so cute um very simple as well those little details like these are super cute to me um it makes me instantly want to buy something but when i saw this top i instantly thought of my friend momi look this is so fucking cute you cannot tell me this is not cute um and it has that same like opened part right here which i really like and it's so simple yet so cute I've been into a lot of tie-dye recently, and I've also really been into the color gray. If you've noticed on all my past videos, I've been wearing either gray or darker colors. But this is so effing cute. Um, at the bottom, I believe it is ruched. That, like, swirly effect. Um, I do notice a, a loose seam. There is a loose seam on here, which I don't like. Um, the material feels like cotton. It has a good stretch. And it looks like it's true to size. On to the next product or next clothing piece. We have another oversized shirt. Oh my god, you guys, I love these. So this is the shirt. It says good heart. Oh, it says good heart, bad temper. Very true to me. Um, I love how bright their shirts are. Like, wow. Um, the material, it's not cotton. It's that, like, late, um, not latex, spandex material vibes. It's really long, but I'm not, I'm not too sure how it's gonna fit on me, if it's gonna fit oversized or if it's gonna fit regularly. I did get this in a 5X, so... I'm not sure because on Fashion Nova, I wear a three, but on Shein, it's a five. It's weird. Um, so the next item, it's the same material as that tank top, but this is like a turtleneck vibes. I'm not sure why I purchased this one, but it's cute. Um, it does seem a bit smaller, but I'm going to try it and let you guys know. And yeah. Overall, it's super, it's a cute piece, but I'm not too sure why I bought it because I hate long sleeves and I hate feeling hot. So this is a, like a mesh cover up piece for like when you go to the beach. So, <laughs> <gasps> oh. so, <clears throat> so, 
So the colors are pink, blue, super cute. But my one problem with this is that the mesh does not feel like a of quality mesh material. I feel like it could probably easily rip. And then it's also not um, as flowy, if you know what I mean. But this is it. I would pair this with like a black bikini underneath. Super cute um, if you do like stuff like these. Um, if you're like me and when you're at the beach you don't really want to show too much, then this is the way to go. So this is the next item. It, it's um, it's giving very much desert vibes. <laughs> it's a frilly top, but you kind of like wear it with a dip in the middle. I don't know how to explain it, but that's my best way of explaining it. The front is a lot longer than the back. This is the back. Feels nice, but it doesn't really feel like it has a lot of stretch. But I don't think this outfit needs, this top needs a lot of stretch just because there already is so much open area up here for the person. But yeah. Ah! I bought some shorts. And they have a dragon on the side here, which I really, really love dragons. Um, I think I, I blame Nikita Dragon. This is fucking Nikita's fault. But I love dragons. Um, it does. The waist does have a functional drawstring. The material feels nice. Um, it feels like a breathable material. Especially for shorts. I feel like sometimes brands tend to forget to make it breathable. But this is the overall design of the shorts. Um, I can't wait to put these ones on yeah oh my god we have a off the shoulder top um i don't even think it's called off the shoulder i think it's called cold shoulder but this is what the outfit looks like it's giving me very much let's run away to greece and live a full fantasy the middle part right here is ruched so you can pull it you can pull the drawstrings in the middle and make it like higher if that makes sense like that so cute so so cute i'm just worried about this part to, if my arm will fit because i do have bigger arms but the material is breathable again it's um a thin material so i do recommend wearing something under this this top is one of those tops where you kind of like cross the front here and you tie it tie up here um it's super cute I'm not sure if I'm going to be having enough coverage up here. So we'll see when I try it on. The material is of that spanky, not spanky, but like Spanx material, which is super, super cute. Um, I like that material and it is a longer sleeve item. So if you are like me and have bigger arms, I'm going to let you know if this fits my We have another turtleneck. So this one does have the ruching at the neckline and the base. The arms, however, are not ruched. I wanted to get some stuff that I could wear like in a professional setting. And I think this type of top would work perfectly. Super cute. And yeah. I also do like the ribbing material that was used on this. There is a good stretch to her. Um, she does feel a little, a lot more thicker in the material compared to the other one, which I do like, um, which means you can get away with not wearing anything under it. The last and final mother effing piece. Oh my God, you guys, I live for shirts like this or tops like this. They kind of just cross over at the front. The color is a yellow color, but the camera keeps washing it out because of the lighting. It just crosses at the front. It's super cute, but I don't like how it doesn't have like the little adjustable thing here to where you can make it tighter. Um, the material is cotton. They do have um, the stretchy thing in the bottom of it. But yeah, this is so cute. Giving me very much summer, which I'm excited for. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you loved it, hate it, whatever. Leave me a comment down below. Give me a big fat thumbs up. It does help me out a lot. Um, if you guys did like any of the pieces, let me know down below which one's your favorite, which one you effing hated. Um, because I know I sure did have some of those. Um, don't forget to follow me on all my socials. They can be found down below. 
Don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.